Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Bento Buster and today I'm going to show you how to make one awesome grilled cheese sandwich using your microwave. That's right, your microwave. And to make that grilled cheese sandwich, you're going to need this, a microwavable panini maker. Now the process is very simple. Put your sandwich in the middle of the two parts, then microwave it for three minutes. And when those three minutes are up, flip it over and microwave it for another three minutes. That's a total of six minutes. And after those six months are up, you will have one awesome grilled cheese sandwich. Guaranteed. Well, hopefully. Fingers crossed anyway. Now to demonstrate this magical device, I'm gonna make a typical grilled cheese sandwich. This sandwich consists of two buttered pieces of bread and a whole lot of cheese on the inside. For the filling, I'm using some Colby Chack, some mozzarella and some generic Japanese grilling cheese that according to the packaging is very stretchy indeed. Fingers crossed we get a good cheese pull. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Okay, it is now locked and loaded. Now remember what I said, I'm gonna nuke it for three minutes, flip it and nuke it for another three, that's a total of six minutes, and after that we should have one awesome grilled cheese sandwich. And before you could say, wow, was that six minutes? <laughs> yes, it was, and here it is. And trust me, this thing is hot. So when handling it, you've got to hold up with those orange silicon parts, otherwise you are screwed. Now guys, take a look at that. That, my friends, was made in a microwave. Usually when you microwave a cheese sandwich, you are left with one sloppy, floppy mess. But not anymore if you're using this panini gadget thing, because this is the real McCoy. Just look at it, it's golden and crispy. It's got gnarly bits of crispy cheese hanging on the outside. What's that all about? I'm just baffled by the science. Okay, we know what it looks like on the outside, but what does it look like on the inside? Oh my God. That is cheese pull, food pull. In fact, you can just listen to the crispiness. Strumming my pain with his fingers. Oh, sorry, got a bit carried away. Okay, well, from the look of it and sound of it, it is a perfect grilled cheese sandwich. But well, let's get down to business because I know what you're really here for. You're here for the cheese pull. Hit it, Buster. So do you like that? Well, I'm gonna be quiet for a moment and just let the cheese do the talking. Now that cheese ball was impressive. In fact, if this was a 1970s action figure, I think it'd be called Stretch Armstrong. You cool cats from the 70s? Yeah, you know what I mean. Now this grilled cheese tastes as good as it looks. Now cast your mind back to when you had an awesome grilled cheese sandwich. Picture it. Well, this thing tastes better than that, I'm supposing. And remember, no frying pans or grilled cheese sandwich making machines required. All you need is this microwavable panini thing and a microwave. And if you don't have a microwave, well, you're screwed again. So on second thoughts, better hold on to that frying pan and your toaster sandwich maker, because you might be needing them. Okay, well, how was that for a review? I think it went pretty well and I covered my bases. And I think we all enjoyed the cheese pull and a random 70s reference. Okay guys, in all seriousness, this thing works. It makes a pretty sweet grilled cheese sandwich. So if you're a grilled cheese junkie, this may be the thing you're looking for. It's good enough. In fact, it's great. Okay, enough of the cheese puns. Okay guys, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh and hey, remember, take it cheesy.